Good evening, my fellow Darklings. Welcome to Creeps and Treats. I am Kimmy Chameleon, contributing writer over at Dark Media and the Vampire Source. You know, with this dang heat wave, something breeds. Something really creepy and crawly breeds and has all these egg sacs and pops open and just causes havoc. And it's not the kind of havoc you want, no, no. It's the eight-legged kind. There's nothing creepier and crawlier than spiders. And I say, if you can't beat them, eat them. That's right, Darklings. We're gonna go ahead and make some edible spider eggs. Join me. For this recipe, you'll need a dozen large eggs. And then you'll need a third cup of mayonnaise. Take that dozen eggs and boil them for about 20 minutes. Put it in the right file according to alphabetical order. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z! Mix it with two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of Tabasco sauce, sprinkling some garlic salt, and also some paprika. Mix it all together. After you remove all the shells off of the eggs, you need to cut them in half just like this. And speaking of cutting eggs in half, you should really check out the film Spiders 3D. It's available on Netflix right now. So if you have Netflix, check it out. The cheese factor is phenomenal. It starts out with these uh, spiders that are on a Russian Soviet space station and some debris hits it and it comes crashing down to Earth. Specifically, the New York substation. And then um, what happens is the atmosphere creates them to be like these big, ginormous, huge tarantula spiders and the creep factor is just like horrendous. You really need to check out that film. all of those egg yolks put into a bowl. Over the weekend I was able to catch a really, really great film, The Mortal Instruments. It's available in the theaters right now, so you need to run down there and grab yourself some popcorn and watch it. It's about this teenage girl, average teenage girl, who actually finds out that she's a descendant of uh, the Shadow Hunters. And um, these are half lawyers, half angels, and they're here on Earth to protect us from the demons, and also from vampires and werewolves and warlocks and witches. And all kinds of stuff goes down, and there's some great action sequences. You have an incredible gift, and we gorgeous actors. So my suggestion is, you really need to catch that film. I never thought I'd say that. After you have finished putting that mixture into the egg whites, get out a can of olives. And each olive represents two bodies of a spider. You need to cut it in half. And then 
place it in the middle of each egg. And then you need to take another olive, cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half, until you have eight spider legs. And decorate the eggs. And there you have it, spider eggs. They're so delicious. Oh my God. What? The spirits are informing me that we're in quite for the treat this week on television. Let's see what they have to say. On Wednesday, August 28th, FearNet is showing Wishmaster, followed by Wishmaster 2, Evil Never Dies, following that, Wishmaster 3, Beyond the Gates of Hell, and capping off the night, Wishmaster 4, The Prophecy Fulfilled. FearNet also has a lot in store for us on Thursday, August 29th with 13th Floor, Candyman, and Tea. And the Sci-Fi Channel has something for us on Thursday, August 29th, Rise of the Dinosaurs, followed by The Land That Time Forgot. And after that, Land of the Lost, and the premiere of Age of Dinosaurs. On Friday, August 30th, Chiller TV will be showing Silent Scream, Day of the Dead 2, Contagium, and Savage. On Saturday, August 31st, Chiller TV will be running its Don't Watch Alone series with the movie My Soul to Take. What you need to do is log in onto your Twitter account and hashtag Scary Social, and you'll be able to join me and all the rest of the horror lovers out there as we tweet together during the movie. It's not so scary. And you've got all your friends with you. Join me. On Sunday, September 1st, Sci Fi Channel will be showing Godzilla, followed by The Abyss. After that, Ghost Mine. And if you want, you can flip the channel over to FearNet in the evening and watch The Last Lovecraft, Relic of Chulu followed by Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. And then on Monday, September 2nd, FearNet will be showing Wicked Little Things, followed by Death Machine. And after that, Blood and Donuts, followed by Tea. And ending the evening with urban legend. Thank you my fellow darklings for joining me for another episode of Creeps and Treats. Hope you had fun. Be sure to visit me at Dark Media and the Vampire Source. You can find me over at Facebook and Twitter. Until then, good night.